It is good morning, Belzer. It is time for our morning announcements. I'm Sam. And I'm Demi. We're here to bring you the latest in Belzer news. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Today is Monday, October 3rd. It is National Blue Shirt Day. Today's lunch menu is rice bowl, cheesy beef burrito, popcorn chicken salad, turkey and cheese sandwich, oriental blend vegetables, and seasoned cubed potatoes. In the news today, Canada won the second game in the best of three Hockey World Cup finals, clinching the championship. Canada won the first game against Team Europe 3-1 and made a late comeback in Game 2 to beat Europe 2-1. North Korea has recently suffered from devastating floods in the Northeast. Here's CNN with, this, with more of the story. Stains from the International Red Cross about Pyongyang's rare request and the dire situation on the ground inside North Korea. We believe that upwards of 100,000 people have been displaced from the flood, and latest reports are that 538 people have died or are, presume, are missing presumed dead. And how unusual is it for North Korea to give this public appeal for aid and for help? Well, it's important that uh, the needs of the people are responded to, and certainly the authorities have mobilised their resources to do that. We saw evidence of that last week. Thousands of people on the roads, repairing roads and, and making uh, the best they can to try and support people who've been affected. And uh, recently, the government here in Pyongyang has announced uh, other measures to try and support people, uh, mobilising, uh, I'm told today, 200,000 people to try and uh, provide support for the people affected by the floods. And of course, the international community has its role to play in that and provide support and encouragement, particularly humanitarian support for the people that have been have been swept up in this terrible flood disaster. And in concrete terms, what kind of humanitarian support is needed in the disaster zone in North Korea, especially when time is of the essence before winter sets in? Winter's the big factor that's driving things because people now are living uh, in very desperate situations. Their homes have been destroyed. Uh, in the communities we visited, we saw that the floodwaters were both high and very fast moving. And, and accordingly, their houses have been basically washed away and destroyed. People have lost everything. They've lost all of their belongings. They've lost their kitchen gardens. They've lost their livestock, their chickens, their pigs. They've lost crops and all of that's going to affect how they live for the next weeks and months ahead. They may have problems with accessing safe drinking water and all the problems that go with that, including the risk of, uh, of uh, infectious diseases, uh, communicable diseases, and also uh, the big issue, another big issue that's looming is about food security, people having enough food during the winter and in the months ahead into next year. So you're saying that the flooding crisis now will affect the chronic food shortage that the people of North Korea suffer year after year? It's certainly not going. It's certainly going to impact on that. There's no doubt that uh, uh, the crops, which were only a few weeks away from being harvested, will be decimated. Uh, the statistic I saw was 16,000 hectares of cropland that's been impacted. Uh, in DPRK, that has a big impact on the overall food security, where things are always, always quite tight in terms in terms of food production and the need for food. So it'll, it will definitely have a longer term impact. But the big issue is for the people right now, the people that don't have safe shelters, the people that don't have safe access to water, who don't have the essential medicines and things they need to be safe on the ground right now. You know, you're, you're painting this picture of just immense human suffering inside North Korea. And we know that the country has issued this rare public appeal, this international appeal for help. Are you afraid that there could be less help offered to North Korea because of the country's relentless nuclear drive. People help other people, and that's what we need to focus on, is that uh, it's always a matter of humanitarian action and support. Uh, the Red Cross and our work is always focused at the humanitarian. Other issues uh, are not something that we become involved in, and we call on people everywhere to provide humanitarian support to the people in DPRK who've been affected by this terrible disaster. 
After after 14 years, two Vincent van Gogh paintings were found after being stolen in 2012. The two paintings were congression were congression leaving the Reformed Church in U- Union and seascape at Schwepfen. The people who found the paintings had a curator at the at the Van Gogh Museum verify that the paintings were real and return to the paintings to the museum. Now to Tamia with sports and weather update. Good, good morning, Belzer. I'm Tamia here with your sports and weather update. Today's weather will be a high of 71, a low of 53. Today, volleyball play Cornwall home at 515, and boys and girls soccer play Southport. Boys play at 515, and girls play at 630. You will need to mark the tip down on your calendar if you are fall flooding. The fall flooding rewards will be given out that night. The tip is also a call-out meeting for boys basketball. The meeting is at 4 o'clock. One final reminder, you must have your ID with you when you are in accompanied by an adult when attending LC football games. Now back to Demia. So. Thank you, Tamia. Scrabble Club will not meet today. Congrats to Brianna Carlson, Sarah Fahey, and Emmy Clark. Those students are Mr. Holt's student of the week for last week. If you did not complete the Navient's lesson on Friday for Mr. Landers, please do as soon as possible. LC's Drama Club is offering an opportunity to BMS students to participate in their club. The first meeting is October 10th. Please sign up with Miss 2 and B205. If you are interested in this o- in it is open to 7th and 8th graders. Students can ride the 5 o'clock activity bus home. Dino's Club is a time to get trained to work with Dino, our school dog. The club meets after school on Mondays for 7th graders only. The 8th graders interested in this club will meet during C&D lunches on Thursdays. You must have a permission form to attend. Pick on up for Miss Nolan's in room B210. Here's today's interesting fact. A fool you can jump up to 200 times its own height. That is equivalent of a human jumping the Empire State Building. Today's celebrity birthday is Gwen Stefani, who turns 47 today. She is an American singer, songwriter, and fashion designer, well known for her songs like Bananas and Hollerback Girl. On this day in history, in 1863, Abraham Lincoln made Thanksgiving an official holiday. Our quote of the day is from Walt Disney, who once said, The way to get started is to quit talking and start doing. That's the end of our announcements today, Bruins. Have a great day.